want to see Papa Motiten. They were about 200. Jim versus JK. Which of these two BTS stars has the better, better American, American English, English pronunciation? pronunciation? Our first category is placement, and placement is talking about where you're projecting the sound from. To give you an example, how do you make the E sound in your language? Does it sound more like E? Well, in American English, it sounds more like E. What's the difference? Well, American English is down here. A lot of other languages are up here. If you're using your first language placement when speaking in American English or any other language, it's always going to sound a little bit less natural. So in listening to both of our stars here, we can find that their placement does tend to be a little bit high. I'm shy. Now, if I were to say, I'm shy, notice how much lower and how much more breath is coming through. I'm shy. It's finally out. We can even hear it to a degree in other words, too. So for instance, again, for Jimin, if we look at the word out, 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 out. Hey, oh, how yeah. much is this? What makes placement especially noticeable is if you're using a high placement for entire sentences. So for instance, how much is this can become with a higher placement more like this. Hey, oh, how yeah. much is this? My dream was pro gamer. Now when Jungkook speaks, what we immediately see is that he's actually able to use a lower placement more consistently. You're going to hear more vibration in his throat, and you're also going to hear a lot of his sounds coming from a lower position. Notice again, my dream, my dream was, was gamer. pro gamer. For those reasons, I'm going to give the placement edge to Jungkook. Our second category looks at L sounds, but if you're expecting like L, that's not quite our focus. We're especially going to be targeting dark L sounds. These appear when an L comes at the end or is sometimes even in the middle of a word. What happens is your tongue stays down, the back of your tongue raises a bit, and lots of air needs to move through your throat and mouth. The sound is more like an L type sound than a L. I'll be honest, both of our stars are going to struggle a bit with this. We can hear it firstly with Jimin, we're looking at a word like always. It's always so exciting to see our fans. Notice again, he's having a hard time getting that aw sound. Always. We can also see this in a word like milk, where again, keep that tip of your tongue down. Milk. 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 I still can never forget it. As we mentioned earlier, when an L comes at the end of a word, you typically want to use more of a dark L, L type sound. We see this, for instance, in a word like still. still. Dark Ls can also appear in the middle of words, like an overwhelming. It was overwhelming. Both of these were a bit difficult for our friend here. Overall, I'd probably have to say we're about even for the L category. Our second to last category to see which of these BTS members speaks with the most American accent is fluency. Fluency is all about how well you can connect words together and speak in a natural rhythm and flow. One thing we see with Jimin is he's able to consistently link words together and produce whole sentences without too many pauses in between, especially when he's most comfortable. For instance, here. Hey, oh, how yeah. much is this? We can see similar levels of fluency in this sentence here. Hey, Cody! Don't worry, I'm not afraid! Let's look at a sentence that Jungkook said earlier. My dream was pro gamer. Now, we mentioned that his placement was really good. He was able to keep things low and open. But there's also lots of pauses and space between his words, so things don't come off as fluently in this sentence here. They were about 200 to 300 people. Therefore, I think we have to give Jimin our winner for this category. This means we only have one category left to evaluate our competitors from BTS. This is vowel sounds. Now what we're going to see with both these guys is that there are some vowels that each of them really struggles with, including, for instance, the short I sound versus the E sound. This is the difference between like sit and seat. In theory, those should sound different. Let's start off though with Jimin. As so I go to the place without Jin. Notice here that on without, it actually sounds more like weave. Without young, young forever. Young. Another vowel that tends to be a little bit difficult is the schwa sound on young. So again, instead of hearing young, how does Jimin pronounce it? Young. I'm studying English and that's it. Next mixtape, JK. JK. Jungkook has some similar issues with the short I sound as well. For instance, in a word like English, English, which really has like two short I sounds like ang and then lish. 
How is it being pronounced here? English. Another aspect of his speech that we see is that sometimes consonant sounds are impacting his vowel sounds. For instance, the letter N is impacting how he says the word moon. Moon, moon, moon. sugar. Moon, chin, moon. Notice he's saying oo-in, oo-in, like moo-in, moo-in versus moon. Also, at times, there's some British influences on his vowel sounds as well. For instance, a word like boxing. Boxing. Where in American English, you get a very open ah sound. Boxing. It can turn into boxing. So then, who is going to get our final point and be crowned our Now, let me know if you agree or disagree. There's one last category we forgot, which is the schwa sound found in a word like butter. Anyone on BTS actually say butter with an American accent? Find out in this video.